All right, let's work through an example of how we can maybe use PowerPoint to create a learning object and uh, make, to make something a little bit more engaging, more interactive uh, for the students. Let's just take a real simple example. I have an existing lesson plan here called What is Blood? And if we look at the lesson plan, notice we've got description, audience, uh, some of the skills addressed, uh, standards addressed, some learning activities. And um, as part of that learning activities here, the teacher in um, two items here, five, after summarizing student feedback, the students uh, show the student this two-minute video from YouTube. And then in activity seven here, the teacher hands out a blood components fact sheet and asks the students to read through it and complete a table. If we look, here's the fact sheet. It's got... Um, different components of the blood with information about them. And this lesson plan was adapted uh, from this uh, lesson plan here that was um, posted out to this teaching resource website here. So I just took uh, that example uh, and going to see how we can uh, modify that slightly. Okay, so I bring up PowerPoint and let's just create from scratch. I'll do file uh, and I'll create a new PowerPoint, a blank presentation. So I've got kind of a blank canvas there. And let's just put a title in here and let's call it What is Blood? And let's just call that a, um, an interactive view of the or look, an interactive look of the components of blood. Okay. Now, uh, in order to get started, if I go back to my fact sheet, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to have a fact sheet and have and and uh, change that into my interactive PowerPoint, and then also this YouTube video here. So I think what I'll do is I'll copy this URL for the YouTube video, okay? And then I'll come back, I'll create another slide. Uh, let's just duplicate this slide. And let's put in, um, replace this text with our YouTube video. Link, okay, I'll make that a little smaller. And I'll just leave this as, um, what is blood? And let's change the title of that to um, just say blood video. And I'm going to make uh, make this uh, whole thing smaller and bold. It, it might be bold already. Let's see. You know, there, I'll make it bold. Bring that down. Make it smaller. Bring this over. And what I'll do is... Um, put this blood video here, the title, I'll put the URL right here, and then let's insert a vi insert the video itself. So I'll do insert a video, and it's an online video, and one of the options here is YouTube, and I'll paste in the URL we have, and click down the search, there it is, I'll highlight it and do insert. And there's my uh, blood video. Let's uh, just line up all these three objects. So they're all, I'm clicking on all three and holding the shift key actually. Clicking on the title, holding the shift, clicking on the three. And now I'll align those uh, just so they're aligned. Okay, so there's a slide I'm going to use to show the video. Let's uh, duplicate this slide. And then let's... Um, Go back to this first one, and then let's just say, uh, change this to um, components of blood. Let's make the title bigger. All right, I'll make this across the screen here. Let's get rid of the YouTube video. I'm highlighting and deleting. Highlighting the URL and deleting. And now I have... Um, some text that I'm going to leave that and bring it down. Now let's bring over all the graphics that we're going to use for the different areas for the fact sheet. Okay, and we'll use that as a kind of a menu. So I'm going to highlight on the red blood cells and click and hold the shift key, 
click on the white blood cells and hold the shift key the third one there hold the shift key and I'm just clicking now I've got those five graphics selected I'm gonna right click and say copy I'm gonna come over to my PowerPoint slide and just paste those in okay now I've got those graphics all pasted in now let's put them in some sort of order I'm gonna put the white blood cells over here I'm gonna put the uh, red blood cells sorry I'll put the red blood cells in the platelets on this side and the white blood cells over here and the plasma uh, right there and let me just line up all these I'm gonna click hold the shift key and click line up arrange uh, align and I want to align the middles there same thing with these bottom two align the middles I just like getting things lined up so it looks uh, looks pleasurable and then let's do the same thing and align these vertically I'm going to take those to align those vertically and the same with these and uh, just some for more consistency okay so now we've got things lined up and we've got the plasma in the middle this is what I'm going to use for my menuing and allow the student to go from place to place so what I'm going to do is click on this text now and give some instructions for the students and say um, click click on any of these objects here to learn more So uh, click on any of the objects listed above to learn more about the components of blood. When you are finished, please um, when you, let's say when you are when you have completed. Let's change that. When you when you have completed all the content areas from above. Click on the exit button in the bottom right left to finish um, to ex uh, to complete. Uh, let's not complete <coughs> to to exit. There we go. Okay. So there's some instructions for the learner. Let's just um, tighten that up a little bit. Okay. And there's the instructions. Align that up. And there's one thing missing here, and that is I want to show, I want the students to actually go through this video as well. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put in, um, I need to put in two buttons here. Let's put in two buttons. One is for the exit, and one is to get to this blood video. Okay. So if I go to uh, add one more component here and do insert and let's put a button in a shape and um, there's a movie shape right there. So let's put that in. Okay, there's the movie shape and when I I'll click on hyperlink and select the option, I'll go to slide number three, the blood video. All right. So now, and let me use the, I like these uh, auto aligning functions within Word, uh, within PowerPoint. So now there's a button there to play this uh, video. And let's just put in some text because it's not really clear um, what that really does. So let's put in some text. Actually, let's change the color of that too um, and make that a, a gray button. I like that look there. And let's put in some text and put in um, YouTube video on blood. about blood all right and I'll just line this text up there YouTube video about blood there we go now we got a link in that will take us to the second slide there now the thing is I need to put an exit button in so let's do insert a shape and let's find some sort of exit button um, let's just do a 
see something. Oh, let's let's put in uh, yeah this button. That's just a blank one. Put it here in the hyperlink. When the hyperlink comes up, we'll go to um, end show. Okay, and do okay. And then I'm gonna make that much smaller. It's kind of big. I'm gonna line it, make it a lot smaller here. And then just put in um, some text that says exit button. Okay, there's the exit button text. It's lined up. Moving it over. And let's just change the color of this button with format to the same we had for uh, is the video. Okay, so to be safe, let's save this. I'm going to file, save this as um, as uh, what is blood PowerPoint. There we go. Okay, so now I've got a I've got some components. I've got a title slide. I've got a components of blood and a blood video. Uh, this could be our main slide to start. So let's just put in um, some instructions and get a button to go to the next to the menuing okay so let's insert a button insert shape uh, there's the next button pretty simple there and hyperlink to next slide that'll work and let's put that there I'm gonna change the format to look like the other buttons and I'm just gonna add some more instruction here uh, click on the Click on the button below to continue. Okay, so now I just have this main. Let's let's make this a little bit more attractive here, and let's um, let's take a format uh, such as this. How's that look? Okay, and let's make that much bigger. Whoa, it's way too big. Okay, so I have my title slide. It looks a little bit more attractive. It's a description of what this is. And um, I'm going to add a period there. And then a, an action button that will just take us to the next slide. Then I have my main menu here where I want to navigate, have the learner navigate from with some instructions about what to do and review. And then I also have a a link for one button already, a movie button that will take us to the second slide here to watch the YouTube video. Okay, so now let's um, continue by adding different components for these different areas uh, within our PowerPoint. So I could do it a number of ways. Uh, let me uh, do this. I'll take this slide and I'll duplicate it. Okay, and then I'm going to remove the video. I'm going to remove the link just so I have consistency in the fonts that I use. And I'm going to um, not, not delete that text area. I'm going to take this text area and use this as my uh, first title. I'll leave it in the center here and let's call this uh, whatever our first one is here. Let's say, let's go with red blood cells here. All right, so I'm going to rename this to red blood cells. Okay, and uh, make this much bigger. And then I'm going to go back to my lesson and get the text out of the Word document there for the red blood cells. I'll just highlight that. Copy it. And paste it into my PowerPoint here. All right. Now I have my red blood cell text. Let's left the line that. Let's make it a um, lot bigger. It's way too hard to read there. Okay. And uh, move this around a little bit. And uh, now I have my all my text. Uh, what I want to do is Whoops, I want to size this so I can make some room for my graphic. Alright, so I got to bring that up. I'm going to shrink my text just a little bit. 
Oops, a little too small. There, about 20 is good. Let me, um, I guess I get a little bit smaller. 18, probably appropriate. Okay. Point size of 18. Just really aligning these things so it looks a little bit more appealing. And then let's do one other thing and let's bring a copy of our red blood cells graphic over. So I'm going to copy that, bring it over. And put it up there so we have some um we'll put it uh yeah I'll just put it kind of like here line it up with the top of my text so we have some consistency okay so now i have red blood cells linkage uh and let's do the same thing for the other so let me duplicate this let me bring over the next graphic uh, let's take the platelets graphic i'll copy that come over here and um Replace the red blood cells graphic with the platelets graphic. Replace the title. Call that platelets. And then replace the text from my Word document for platelets. Highlight it, copy it, <clears throat> bring it over. So notice I'm not retyping everything. I'm taking what I did in the existing lesson plan and just kind of reshaping it basically okay there's platelets let's do that again for the next content area duplicated that uh, let's go with plasma I'm going to delete this graphic and place the plasma graphic in I'm trying to stay consistent as well on the look and feel of all my slides uh, changing the title so this way uh, the learner comes to expect a certain uh, consistency where the graphics going to be where the navigation is going to be where the titles and text etc okay so now i've got the plasma text just replacing now and there's plasma i can certainly do a lot more to um doctor this up a little bit but I'm just trying to uh, more important of us how we use PowerPoint to do navigation so we've got plasma we've got a couple more to go the white blood cells and again I'm just replacing uh, graphics uh, copying pasting a number of things and creating a PowerPoint slide for each so let me change the title Okay, and let me get the text for the phagocytes from my Word document, which was already created. Where's the phagocytes? There's the text. Okay, and then one more time, duplicate that. <coughs> And my last one is the lymphocytes. So I'm copying that graphic. Notice these are mostly I'm just right clicking and um, pasting. And then changing the title. And one more time from my, back to my lesson plan. Get the lymphocyte text replacing that okay now I have um, I have the makings of a piece here to be safe I'm gonna save a version all right and I just have a couple things now to do I want I want the learner to really start here on the first slide click this next button which we set that up if you remember on the hyperlink I said click go to next slide so it'll come they'll start by looking at this they'll come into this next slide which is really our main menu and it uh, has all the areas and I use these graphics and I want to use these graphics like links now um, or buttons themselves 
So what I can do is here on the white blood cells, I'll right click that and I'll do a hyperlink or I could have gone insert hyperlink, but notice one of the options here is linked to a place in the document and there it is and I, I want to do the white blood cells to number seven. So when they click on this button, now this become this graphics become a button for me. And it will go there. Here's the second one for the white blood cells. Again, I'll highlight the graphic. I can do insert hyperlink, place in the document, and then this one I'm going to go to lymphocytes. So I kind of set up all my slides. Now I'm just putting in all the navigation. There's the plasma graphic. I'll right click on it. Hyperlink, uh, place in the slide. Plasma, the red blood cells, uh, right click hyperlink, go to red blood cells, and then finally platelets, right click, hyperlink, platelets. Okay, so now I have linkage for all these graphics here, because if you remember we did the video earlier, I'm going to save, and then the exit button will take us out. So uh, let's just see what that might look like. So if I go to slideshow from the beginning, there's my what is blood. If I click on the next button, it takes me to my menu with objects. And then if I click on any one of these, let's click on plasma. Notice it takes me to plasma. But I don't have any other navigation built in except, you know, the learner could use these forward and backward buttons. So I'm going to hit escape there. And let's put in additional navigation so that after they go from here, from one of these subject areas to the main slide, to give them some navigation to return back. So let's start with um, this blood video slide. This is where they could watch the video. And let's insert a button, a shape, and let's call it uh, home. Let's just make it the home button. Click on that. And when I hyperlink, I don't really want to go to the first slide because that would be this what is blood. I want to go actually to the second slide. So I'm going to do slide, and then it's the component slide, which is kind of my main menu. Okay? Get a link on that, and then um, I'm just going to put this in the bottom right for consistency, make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to change the format of it to look like um, look like our other buttons. And this I'm going to actually just put in some text just to say what this is, because the first time they may not know. I'm going to insert a text box. Let's see, where's the text box? There's the text box right there. Put that in and click over here and just type um, return to main menu. Okay, and then I'm going to move that text right here. Okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> keep that highlighted. I'm going to shift, hold the shift key, click on the home button and I'm going to right click and say copy and put that on the rest of my slides now. So I left some space open there. And that, so again for consistency purposes that button's going to be in the same place for all of these other content slides. All right. Just a couple more to do. And uh, I now have, uh, I think, navigation everywhere. Let me save my PowerPoint. All right, and let me try it again. I'm going to just do slideshow from the beginning. There's my title slide, uh, interactive components. Click next. Now there's next. Now I have options here. Let's go to white blood cells here. I've got information. I can learn all about it. And I'll click the return to main menu, and it takes me back. And notice that's just happening with all of these now. I seem to have some navigation and learner control that allows me to uh, go ahead and do any of those things. And I've incorporated video, um, and I have an exit button. And then when I exit, it's there. So the only thing left to fix in this is um, we don't want the learner to be able to use the arrow keys back and forth. Uh, we want them to just using the buttons. So how can we uh, maybe disable those arrow keys? So there's a one way to do that with PowerPoint. I'll select the first slide here, and I'll go to, um, to the... Um, 
<coughs> transitions okay and the transitions option and notice over here there's to the far right on the menu and there's advanced slide and on mouse click is click is clicked on so I'm gonna unclick that I'm gonna change the duration this is how long the slide would go from six uh, two seconds to 60 seconds and then the last thing here is notice this apply to all I'm gonna apply it to every slide these these uh, options to every slide in my deck so I've done that and now every slide if I go to another slide notice it's you know 59 seconds or a minute almost and the mouse click is off so now that's all set up for all the slides I'm gonna save and there's one last piece so if I do this let's see how that looks I'll just do slideshow from beginning and as I work through it um, but if I hit the arrow key notice it just went to the, the arrow key still kind of work so I need to do one other thing to actually with PowerPoint to make sure that arrow keys do not work and um, if I go back to the uh, slideshow itself tab I'm sorry setup slideshow if I do setup slideshow notice one of the options here is browsed at a kiosk full screen if I click that on notice now it kind of disables some options so I'll um, click OK and now and I'm gonna save and now when I do slideshow from the beginning um, I'm gonna do OK I'm ready I'm next and I'm going into my content area now as I'm hitting those arrow keys nothing happens so it's kind of uh, lock that in and now I have a fully functional kind of interactive learning object that I worked off an existing lesson plan certainly a lot more I could do here I could clean up a lot of the text and graphics add some more functionality um, but this was a basic way uh, to take existing lesson plan uh, modify it with uh, technology and create a you know more of an interactive learning object so hopefully this is giving you uh, some inf some information and a way to kind of get started with your own projects uh, and also got you thinking about how, how you might be able to be uh, creative with your different lesson planning <laughs>